All right, what does isosceles mean? So an isosceles object has two or more equal components. This is most frequently used in the realm of triangles. So you can actually see an isosceles triangle here as an example. So you can see it has these two congruent sides here, each five centimeters, and also these base angles here and here, those would also be congruent. Um, but however, it doesn't have to be a triangle. It can also be a really any figure, but like this is an example of a trapezoid. So again, you have these two congruent sides and then also these base angles here. Those would also be congruent. One more important thing to note is that all equilateral triangles are also isosceles. So the key thing that most of my students miss is that for isosceles, it's two or more, which is kind of confusing. So because of that, all equilateral triangles are isosceles, but not all isosceles triangles are equilateral. As an example, this would be an example of a triangle that is isosceles, but is not equilateral.